your family's <laughs> having guests over. All right, Braniel's going through a little phase. He says he's a great street crip. So if you could just call him Craniel, otherwise he's going to flip out. He'll ruin dinner. He comes downstairs waving a flag. He goes, what up, cut? <laughs> He's crib walking in like loafers. <laughs> the cool uncle's like, hey, Cran, show me that crib walk again. Let me try it. <laughs> Six day war by Colonel Bagshot. Everybody's favorite. This makes me think of Colonel Backshots, <laughs> who was my favorite porn star in the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> what song is that? Radio Dance Hall Live by Tenor Saw, Gammy Bolo, and. <laughs> And Joe Lickshot. <laughs> what was that last name? Joe Lickshot. <laughs> Joe Lickshot. Colonel Backshots and Joe Lickshot. <laughs> you know my motto. If you get away with it and there's still blood on your hands, not my hands. <laughs> 9 to 11, and you know what that calls for. <sighs> A 9-11 challenge. Grant, pass me that toy plane. I still think this is an insensitive bit. You Hold know up both I mean? your arms, Riley. Play along. What is this, 90s Conan? It's like, I don't think so, man. <laughs> Wait. It takes a while for the jet fuel to match the steel beams. Okay, fine. Oh my god, that fire looks pretty bad up there. I hope another doesn't... Whoa! <laughs> Tell me, man, I don't think this is a good idea, man. All right, now make a pentagon with your hands. <sighs> Should we scramble the fighter jets, General? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it hit the wall! I barely did damage! I don't even know if anybody died besides the people on the plane! All right, Riley, there'll be a field in Pennsylvania. <sighs> this is our plane. You're not gonna take this to the White House. <laughs> Wait, where's the black box? Why is nothing left of it? Oh my God! What a terrible day for America! But it ends up uniting us all. And now Grant is gonna be George W. Bush and he's gonna throw out the first pitch at the Yankees' next home game in New York. The place is gonna go ballistic. I'm proud to be an American where at least I know I'm free. Left a .5 of Coke out in the lawn overnight. Call that Dewey Decimal. I dropped a bag in the toilet one time. Really? Yeah, I pulled it out. Was it fine? It was a little wet. I did it. <laughs> it's not good for you. Was it good for you though? No, it was awesome. I had a great night, yeah, as far as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd that hand need to be there? Huh? What was this one? I was doing? steadying your steady. I was steadying your face to make sure I could get the hair. I'm about the steady. I didn't want you to move. Put my fist in your mouth. How long do you think you can hold your breath? An hour or two, probably. I think I can hold my breath for like. 15 seconds. I'm serious. I have like, I see the scenarios in movies where they're like, all right, last time. And then they like go through a tunnel, come up the other side, swim up to the top of the ocean. I am toast. If yeah. I'm on a sinking ship, I'm finding the nearest bottle of whiskey and putting on a whole lot of red. <laughs> That's what you're going out to? It is a wrap for me, man. Rack stop me. We're back. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> How has that never happened until now? I don't know. Oh, full force. Oh, oh yeah, that's not gonna help. Yes, it is. Oh, Jesus, fuck, I'm a shit cross. This <laughs> soup. Is there piss in this soup? Tastes like hot piss. <laughs> This isn't chicken noodle soup, this is piss! Oh, thank you, Manscaped. <laughs> you know my motto. Hmm. If you can't get a loan from the bank, you gotta take on the bank alone. <laughs> well, also, a guy has become a dog once. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Tim Allen in the movie Fluffy or something. Yeah, his name was like Mr. S Mr. S Brixton or something. Yes. I think it was called Shaggy. Oh, Shaggy Dog. Yeah. Shaggy Dog. Shaggy yeah. Dog, yeah. That's funny how in Scooby-Doo, the human's name is Shaggy. Yeah. But in that one, yeah. the dog's name is Shaggy. Powder. Powder. The dog's name is Shaggy in that one, but he is the fun-loving human who loves hoagies in Scooby-Doo. Yeah. Have you guys seen the live action Scooby-Doo's? Like, uh... No! He was in it. Oh my god. I wasn't! I'm not fucking Matthew Lillard! I'm fucking Anne Hathaway. <laughs> 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 Matthew Lillard and me just made out once at a party. <laughs> I was off the maker's mark. <laughs> Who's baby Gronk? Who's... 
<laughs> Who's Baby Gronk? Livy Dunn, raised up by Astro Speed. <laughs> Good for speed. He finally met Ronaldo. That's a huge moment in Twitch history. He did the suey with... With Ronaldo. Honestly, one of the best character arcs ever. XQC shouldn't have to apologize. He's got more money than Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit. Mr. Beast could have been on that submarine. <laughs> wow, he was actually invited. Now, wait a minute. If Mr. Beast was invited on the submarine, why is the text blue? Blue is for the outgoing text, not the incoming. And now Curtis Connor says he was invited on the actual Titanic. <laughs> now, that's just funny. He seems like a charming guy. I'm happy for him and his wife. Is Mike still on Impulsive? <laughs> oh, meant to text that into Google. Because <laughs> he's from Germany. Great. Oh, that explains a lot. Liz, he's German. Brent. Three, two, one. Echo 2K. BTS. David Hasselhoff. Pop Smoke, 21 Savage, and Lil Uzi Vert. Couldn't be more American, honestly. <laughs> they have FOMO. You are biting the style. She has so much FOMO. Yeah. She's like, I wish I could see American rappers. Oh, yeah. we go to the disco. <laughs> <laughs> we smoke cigarettes for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the CEO of Slaughter Gang. <laughs> That's more Swedish, but you guys get it. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the party. And <laughs> 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 could use a little bit of work. A little, but yeah, but yeah, sure. Yeah, I ran sure. out of a little juice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, guess what? What? I don't know. I'm pregnant. Mmm. Let me guess. An Eminem song. It's a Juno sample, right? It's Juno. Correct. Yeah. Wasn't allowed to see that movie. Why? Michael Sarah told me not to. <laughs> oh, he didn't like his performance? <laughs> he said he was <laughs> said he was mid and he posted cringe. <laughs> <laughs> Really? He's yeah. very ahead of his time to say that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was like, like the early 2000s. Yeah. <laughs> he said, Diggy boy, don't bother going seeing my new flick. It's mid and I posted cringe. I lost a lot of subs. There were L's in the chat. It was totally not based. It was <laughs> sus. It was a sussy <laughs> performance, honestly. <laughs> my performance was sus. So guess what? I'm pregnant. <laughs> if I had a nickel, you know what I mean? <laughs> Three, two, one. Put solo dolo three, Kid Cudi. I put real Slim Shady. This is Be Nice To Me by Blade. Oh, d dude. Oh, no. I love when Donald Trump discovers that a word is fun to say. Because <laughs> yeah. you can feel it. And that it is ground. electric. Yeah. Transubstantiation. <laughs> oh, I want to see you find that one. <laughs> That's right. The Christians love me. They really do. They love me. And you know what else they love? They love transubstantiation. <laughs> me, I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Trans? But then I learned what it was. <laughs> now I love it. I gobble up the flesh of Jesus. That's transubstantiation. Trans is when a boy becomes a girl, and transubstantiation is when a boy becomes a wafer. <laughs> she finally come to life. Thank you, Jesus. wish you had a Oh, that one's beautiful, oh, too. Oh, heart-wrenching. Yeah. Like, like, I felt it in my guts. Uh -huh. what, oh. No, I don't want to say that. <laughs> nah. Kanye West Never in my been. gut. Never. <laughs> Mr. West! You know, Thank rid. you, Mr. West! No. You're in my guts! <laughs> Kanye's up in my guts! Okay, yeah. <laughs> like I said, beautiful song. <laughs> the walls would bleed there, too. What was up with that? Everybody's face was all swirly as well. Yeah. That was odd. We took a lot of acid before we went, though. I only took six, seven, eight, nine, ten gel tabs. Yeah, me too. But. I don't know, it's probably just the place. The atmosphere is weird there. <laughs> Big blue bartenders, the walls are bleeding, everybody's faces are all swirly, and I figured out what I want to do with my life. Yeah, and it was like a Salvador Dali bathroom. Yeah, I yeah. remember that. The toilet was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I pissed all over the floor just to be safe. <laughs> I ordered tater tots, and it looked like a tortoise. I tried to play skee ball, and my mom popped out of the middle hole. I remember that, <laughs> yeah. She mm -hmm. said, you were a terrible son. And I was like, what the fuck, <laughs> man? Were, I still am. <laughs> <A> word. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mom goes, you were a terrible son. You go, Word? <laughs> oh, Word. <laughs> Oh, word. Word. I did not know. I thought I was I. <laughs> That's a great thing to say at like an intervention too. Hey, listen, we've, we've all gathered here because we care about you. Oh, word? <laughs> Y'all care about me? Pass me a beer. <laughs> you think I can pick up the board with my mouth? Like... I don't know, maybe. You want a bet? Try it. Five bucks? No. Two. I don't do money. Just try it. 
<laughs> Riley also thought a sloth was the fastest animal in the world okay. one time a year. <laughs> he thought they moved so slow <laughs> that they conserved their speed I for hell, one time a year. I believe it. I that, believe it. That was something he tried I to convince our, all of our friends of at 16, and we said, are you fucking stupid? <laughs> I didn't think it. <laughs> you, I, I dreamt saw it. it. I saw it. <laughs> okay, and I, it felt very real. Okay. And I want everybody watching the video right now to imagine what a POV would be like if Ed Sheeran was on top of you in missionary position. What? Why would you? <laughs> it's, it's fucked up, isn't it? I know you're picturing it at home. <sighs> and then he licks you with a big sandy tongue. And you're like, oh, Jesus. Finish in the trash can, Ed. Is it over? Exactly. Of course. It's never okay to objectify women. Right. But it's always okay to womanify objects. Like a lamp, you go, oh, she is awesome. Or a boat, <laughs> classically. You know? Oh, shit, look, look, look at her. Look at her. She's done right <laughs> look by at that me. that baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's done right by me. But for literally a anything. Like it could be a dress, a card, a painting. Anything could be a she. You just like. We manify him, though, too. Look at this little fella right here. Oh, no, look at this guy. That's an animal. No, people say that about things all the time. Like? Toss me that guy. That, that dude. Let me see that little dude. Did you say that? I don't think so. Yeah, they do. If you're digging through your couch cushions, looking for the remote, you're going, where is she? No, you're not. Yes, you are. No, you could, just, you could say, ah, oh, there he goes. And you grab it. There he goes. You're forcing this. No, I'm hard. not. No, I'm hard. Not. No, you're not. forcing this super hard. I would say that. No, you wouldn't. Or like another beer at a bar. I'd say, give me another little guy. No, you just say. I wouldn't say. You'd say, give me another one. And they'd say, sir, you've already had 16. I can't <laughs> serve you. Say, yeah, no, no, give no. me that. <laughs> give me that or I'm gonna kill you. Or give me a cold boy. Cold one. No, cold boys. I, you've never said that. I, have six pack I of hang cold out boys. with you all the time. You never <laughs> say stuff like that. Guys, I just picked up a nice 24 rack of little boys. Listen. And I'm gonna bring them over and we're gonna slurp them down. I hate to expose you this way, but you are way more likely to say, pick up a six pack of them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> And listen, not like that, but I'm do I'm not trying to, but I'm just saying, you know, you're like, oh, that bitch is nice. That's what you'll say about like a slice of fish. I would also say that boy's slapping. You don't say that. You're just making that part up to I try would to serve you a plate, and I'd say, Mr. Food coming in. Mr. <laughs> Food. Yes, I would. President Cheeseburger just landed. <laughs> Presidents can be women too, just not yet. Yeah, well. Probably never, too. <laughs> and I'm just saying, it's like, it's not me. The whole country votes. I would vote for a woman, and I did. Once. <laughs> saying the country as a whole, we'll have a gay Chinese guy as president before we have a woman. And I stand on that. It's just the truth. Also, another thing I'd call a beer. Give me a glass of truth. <laughs> <laughs> I've been lied to all week. Give me a glass of truth. You know, like per capita, squirrels have the fattest cocks in the animal kingdom. <laughs> that started so informally and ended up like a scientific. Like, why did you say fattest cocks? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I, there was a squirrel in my trash can last night, and that dude had a hog on him. An absolute. So this is all anecdotal evidence. I mean, Jesus. Beef stick on that guy. <laughs> Holy smokes. But, Here, look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Wait, what the? Where am I? I'm looking directly at you. What are you doing? I knew I took a little too much cat this morning, but <laughs> this is a heavy dose. If I'm literally across the room, I feel like I'm sitting right next to you. Diggy, you're all right. You're not responding. What? I'm not. Riley! It looks like you're trying to say something. Dignan, are you okay? Your ears are so shiny. They look like little wax buttons. Dude, why are you sweating so much? What the? Dude, please just answer me. Honestly, this is cool with me. Check this out. <laughs> Right. I've always wanted to do this and no one can see me. Dignan! Dude, we gotta do a video! Right. <laughs> I kinda like this life a little more than the last one. Dolphins? S. 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 Ah, S. No, see, I'm I actually, to okay, listen. Ah, no I. Way. One second. Should I? Yeah, go ahead. Oh, shit! <laughs> what the so fuck? So I've got this. What the me. fuck? <laughs> he really likes dolphins. He loves dolphins. I love, uh, I'm a big Lisa Frank fan. Yeah. You know, I love her drawings or illustrations <laughs> of dolphins. My grandma used to give me dolphin gifts because yeah. I was obsessed with dolphins as a kid. As I've gotten older and I'm aware of uh, documents like Wet, wet goddess. goddess. Yeah, wet goddess. <laughs> you know, yeah. uh, it's tough. It's tough to love dolphins the same way because they are sexual deviants. Yeah. Have you read the memoir of wet dolphin or wet goddess? First of all, on my list. <laughs>
don't actually. Don't, <laughs> don't read it. Don't read it. It will demystify dolphins completely for you, but also men. <laughs> it's a marine biologist. <laughs> I thought this was just a fun zoo animal deal. No. You're, 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 you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn. Let goddess. Yeah. You watch us. You're gonna learn. Sidebar: There was another like ex CIA agent who like put a dolphin in a pen and took acid with it for like two years. You remember that story? If not, it's no big deal. <laughs> Wet goddess is like. He was trying to like learn the communication. It didn't work out. I think the no, actually, the dolphin fell in love with him, and then the guy abandoned the project, and the dolphin killed itself. Whatever, slammed uh, its head into the wall. Yeah, it murdered its yeah. murdered its own mind. Um, yeah, what? Wet goddess is a marine biologist who fell in love with a dolphin again. A trap so many seem to fall into. Totally. Um, and he abandons his then girlfriend because he starts uh, having sex with it, and describes the dolphin's genitalia as a vortex pussy. So vortex S yeah. S. <laughs> well, S. well, well. S. There is there's a little bit of a there's another part of the story. Yeah. So then he has this long lasting like soap opera. sexual relationship with this dolphin, right. and then he kind of you know I don't know he starts dating a real woman, a human woman, and he brings her into the dolphin enclosure a where threesome? he works. Now. Uh, the dolphin that he was having sex with attacked the woman immediately. Yeah. 